Welcome to Lolly Tasking with ADHD. I am your host, Dr. Lolly, a multi passionate mom of three, a physician, and an ADHD life coach. Because, like most of you amazing women listening, I have ADHD. Join me as we chat about how ADHD affects our lives and learn strategies to help us all thrive, not just survive, with ADHD so we can live the life we want while accomplishing all our goals. Let's get started. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Again, I am Dr. Lolliday. I am your favorite ADHD coach, physician, and lifestyle strategist for women. And I help women maximize their time and focus and decrease their overwhelm so they can really, really fulfill all their dreams and reach their full potential. Okay, so I just want to thank you guys for like everybody listening again. We have hit another milestone on this podcast and I'm so very humble with the amount of people listening to the podcast. Oh my goodness. So I really just want to come drop a quick note. I think this is going to be one of the shortest episodes ever. Um, someone asked me the other day, um, what is your mantra or motto that you do that you feel helps your ADHD the most? And it was an interesting question because I'm like, uh, I have a lot of stuff. You guys know I love quotes. I love, love, love quotes. But the number one thing that has helped my ADHD has not been a quote. It's actually been a question. It's been a question that I have learned to consistently ask myself. You guys know when you want to find out what your dreams are, what your goals are, if you're part of our implementation session, which we did last week, I want to give a shout out to all the women in our implementation session. It was fantastic. They did it. I am so flipping proud of them. Anyway, I digress. So if you're in our implementation session, I talked about the importance of knowing your big why and your why helps you create that anchor that pushes you through your goal. As you guys know, we ADHD a lot of times, like we need that heavy interest or heavy value to help us achieve our goal and that's what your why does but what people don't really realize is that your why doesn't stop at just knowing the big picture your why is necessary to be asked every day your why lets you have intentionality and it lets you have that ability to stop and think which is one of the issues with ADHD, right? We're very impulsive. But if you practice using the why, it will help you actually determine sometime if what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing. So I call it my but why, right? So let's say, for example, I'm doing something and all of a sudden I have this strong urge to do something else. My question to myself is, but why? Oh, but why not, right? And when you've asked yourself the but why or but why not, the next question is but why now, right? And a lot of times you're able to redirect your brain using those three questions to determine that maybe I don't need to be doing that right now, right? Or maybe I do need to be doing that right now, okay? So an example is, let's say I am... I am doing a podcast right now, right? And I have a strong, strong urge to text my um, assistants that I need you to help me with A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The ADHD person in me wants to pause the recording I'm doing right now and quickly text her before I forget. That's what the urge wants me to do. But If I am used to asking myself, but why questions at that moment, my next trigger is, but why? Why is the time, the opportune time, this time right now, right now, right now, the perfect time for me to text her? Why is it not the perfect time for me to text her? Why is it so important that I have to text her right now? Depending on what your question is or what you want to do, 
it may be appropriate for you to stop and do that thing. But 90% of the time, you can literally write it down and give yourself a timer so you don't forget. Because the biggest thing people tell me is, well, I have to do it right now because if I don't do it right now, I tend to forget. So it's very, very important I do it right now. There are so many different strategies that can help you, you know, um, be your external memory. I don't believe that you have to do everything and anything at the time that your brain believes it has to do it. Because our brain, again, is impulsive. Knowing and having that awareness is very, very important. Okay? So, why, why, why is so important? It kind of goes back to the curiosity that we were as a child. And as we've gotten older, we don't become as curious anymore, right? Like, think about a four year old child. I need you to, but why, mom? Because I said so. But why did you say so, <laughs> right? It forces you to confront what you really don't want to confront. It challenges you to just not fit in, but to fit in appropriately. And as you continue to say your why, it helps you develop, you know, and, and strengthens your ability to be able to, you know, stop that impulsivity. You know, it's so funny because this is nothing they ever taught us in coaching school, but it is something that I personally do. And I know it's been a big, big, big change in my impulsiveness. Because a lot of times if we're able to stop our impulsiveness on this track, we're able to redirect, right? And knowing that, why not only helps you stop your impulsivity? It is essential for you sometimes because when you start asking yourself why you don't stop at your impulsiveness, you start asking yourself why in all situation, right? So for example, when there is emotional dysregulation, which is big for us, one of the things I teach people to do is stop. Then ask yourself, why do I feel this way? You know, is there some truth in what that person is saying? What can I take out that is objective out of what this person is saying right now? Right? And how can I take their emotions out? But why do I feel the need to confront them about it right now? Is it necessary that I do at this very time? Right? So you ask yourself the big why, like, but why do I want to do this? Right? And but why is this time the appropriate time to do it? Okay. It helps you grow, but you got to start from somewhere. Okay. So I think this is definitely one of my shortest episodes because I have a hard stop. My middle one's birthday is coming up, so I have to go get a cake. Yay! Um, so this episode is definitely dedicated to my middle middle uh, sunshine, like I like to call them. They're my sunshines. Um, it's been a pleasure, and it's been amazing just being a mom of both girls and boys, but this boys in particular because they are mine so i want you guys wherever you are just say happy birthday sunshine um so yeah so have a hard stop but that's really all i wanted to talk to you guys about today just that ability to continue to ask yourself but why but why but why but why it sounds so silly but it works like i guarantee you okay so that being said, um, we have definitely come to the very end of our episode. If you have liked what you heard today, I really do want you guys to leave a review, guys. Leave a review. I need that dopamine hit. Every time I see your reviews, I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's amazing. Thank you guys for encouraging. 
encouraging me. So yes, yes, yes. I want you to continue encouraging me. Okay. And just like in everything, after listening to this episode, if you could do one thing from this episode, again, it's not two things. It's not three things. It's not four things. If you could just do one thing from this episode to help your ADHD, what will it be? Willie Bages, the ability to stop and just ask why generally? Or the ability to just ask why this time, right? I don't believe you have to do all at once. With ADHD, we got to make it as simple, 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 simple as possible. Okay? So it's very, very important that you do that. Okay? So... Thanks for hanging out with me again on this very short episode. I hope you have an amazing intentional week ahead. Don't be a stranger. If you have any questions or want to talk about, you know, anything extensive, please join our um, Thrive in Spite of ADHD. The link will be below. It's a disclaimer. It's not somewhere I go a lot. But it's somewhere where you can meet other people like yourself with ADHD and they, you guys can chat together. Also, don't forget to follow us on IG at Lolly Tasker. Or if you have any like detailed questions, you can always email me at hello at lollytaskin.com. Again, leave a review. Maybe I'll shout you out on the next or future episode. Till next time, remember, you can do it too with some planning, a little bit of balance, and a little bit of curiosity with your why question <laughs> and a dash of determination. This is Lolly Tasking with ADHD. Thanks for hanging out with us on another episode of Lolly Tasking with ADHD. If you like what you've heard today, I would love for you to click the subscribe button, rate, and leave a great review in addition to share with your friends. Your review allows visibility and also allows other amazing women to find this podcast. Also, if you have any questions or topics you would like for us to discuss, please contact me via direct message on Instagram at lollytasker or email us at hello at lollytasking.com. Till next time, this is Lollytasking with ADHD.